Nathan, the partnership with you and Cran's almost reached a milestone. You're at 46 winners already, so not too far away from 50. What's the first season been like together? Uh, very good. Courtney, um, yeah, the, probably the aim before the start of the season, I thought if we got to 50, it'd be, uh, be a great effort. So uh, we're getting close to it now, and hopefully in the next sort of month we can achieve it. Definitely. Well, let's get on to your runners on Friday night at Eddington. In race two, you've got Ultra Sensation and Bodine Hustler. What are your thoughts on these two? Yeah, Ultra Sensation was a little bit disappointing last start, but he blew out. Um, you know, when he got back down, he really blew hard. So uh, we put that down to fitness in the end, and hopefully he strips for, the, for, um, for this week. Um, Bodine Hustler, he was... Um, he raced a little bit, bit fiercely last start, but um, we'll take the gear off him, try to keep him happy, and um, yeah, from the one draw, he should be able to sort of put himself in a good spot. In race three, you've got Fortunia, who had a break last week. Yes, he did. Uh, yeah. It's a little bit uncharacteristic. I know he hasn't had a start, but he is very, very well made of course. So, um, you know, if he was to ever go in, he'd have to get off. But, uh, you know, he's, um, you know, he went good afterwards. He, he, he's not a horse that has a lot of high speed, so, uh, you know, we won't be able to effort. So, uh, going into next week, um, I'm not sure. I think it's a little bit of a tricky draw, but uh, no, he, should, uh, he should be there about. And in race five, you've got Twilight, Bromac and Invaluable. How do you expect these two to go? Uh, Twilight Bromac is um, he's been a touch disappointing really. Um, he's still a cult at the moment, and uh, he probably needs to be um, needs to be going. He's uh, he's just thinking a little bit much. Um, he is a little bit better than, than how he's racing, but uh, we've upped his work um, this week, and uh, hopefully uh, they can take its toll there. And uh, invaluable, he's just a nice, honest horse. Um, he gets the right trip, and um, you know he's, uh, he always does a good job. And in race seven, you've got Alter and Deva. How did you come out of the run on the 19th? Uh, yeah, he had a bit of a tough trip that night. Um, it's uh, just how the race panned out. But uh, no, he's bounced off it good. Uh, he's still on the second line, so probably look at driving a little bit more conservatively and uh, you know, probably a, a race that the, the pace could be on through the, through the whole journey. So uh, hopefully he's still the first three chance anyway. Well, that rounds up your team for Friday night. Uh, Nathan, what do you think your best chance is? Probably Alter and Deva.